here is another viewer requested video. They were having a difficult time finding the span charts that can be used to calculate the floor joist sizes. So let's go ahead and go over to Google. And you don't have to use Google. You can use other search engines. And we're simply going to type in floor joist span charts. And that's going to take us to the building code books. Now these are the most common building codes used and this is their website here. I'm going to click on this one instead of this one but I would imagine you could click on this one too or you could probably click on a couple of the other ones down here to find something similar. So again we're going to click on this and that's going to take me to this and I would definitely recommend reading some of this information if you don't know a lot about using span charts. Now the first one here has a 30 pounds per square foot load on it and that might be fine and you might want to compare the sizes of the lumber to the next span chart but most of the time we're going to be dealing with a 40 foot pounds per square foot live load for residential home framing. Now another thing I want to point out is that we're going to be dealing with different lumber. Where I'm at we deal with a lot of Douglas fir. However you might be dealing with southern pine or even other types of lumber. Now let's go ahead and go back up here and in this column here we're going to have the joist spacing. 12 inches on center if I go down 16 inches on center and you can go down to 19.2 and 24 inches on center and then of course we have the type of lumber here and then we're going to have two different columns where we have a dead load of 10 pounds per square foot and another one with 20 pounds per square foot and then we're going to have the maximum floor joist spans these are not the minimum this is the maximum length that this material can span. So at 12 inches on center, Douglas fir number two, and I doubt if you're gonna find Douglas fir number three. And of course the most common one here is going to be number two or better. And the same thing down here with the southern pine and the hem fir. So this is the number grade of the lumber. Species, Douglas fir, grade, number one, number two, and number three. So if we go to the Douglas fir number two, you can see where a two by six maximum span length is going to be 10 foot, nine inches, spaced at 12 inches on center, 14 foot, two inches for a two by eight, spaced at 12 inches on center. And of course, we can go right down the list for two by 10, 2 by 12 and then head over to this side here if we're going to be dealing with a dead load of 20 pounds per square foot. Next up let's take a look at the most common which is going to be 16 inches on center. Douglas fir number two and then if you remember this is 2 by 6, 2 by 8, 2 by 10 and 2 by 12. So again the maximum span lengths at 16 inches on center. If I'm dealing with southern pine number two I'm just simply going to go down here to find the maximum span length. And hopefully that makes sense. And keep in mind that this information here is not meant to provide you with structural engineering information for your home. And I am not a structural engineer. This is just meant to provide you with information on how to use a floor joist span chart. And thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to visit our website. We have an organized list of our videos there. You might have a difficult time finding that anywhere else.